Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been talking a lot about Etsy lately and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Etsy, but I'm also a very big believer in ensuring that you're diversifying your income streams. And one thing with that is if you've heard the saying in relation to social media, you do not own your followers, the same can be said for Etsy and Creative Market and these third party platforms or these marketplaces in that you do not own your store. And that might be hard to kind of wrap your head around, but at the end of the day, you don't own your store. The store is owned by the platform. And I've seen this happen in that Etsy can close down your store tomorrow and there's really nothing that you can do about it. So it's really important to ensure that you are also putting a portion of your eggs into a basket that you actually own. Now, this is generally going to mean building a website. And as a web designer myself, I understand the overwhelming process of building a website, especially if you don't have the prior knowledge and skills to do so. It can be a very, very time consuming task, which is why in today's video, I want to introduce you to Flowdesk Checkout and walk you through the process of building an entire sales page and checkout system with no website needed. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know that I use and absolutely love Flowdesk. If you haven't heard of Flowdesk, they are a digital marketing provider that offers a simplistic and intuitive platform to create beautiful emails and most recently sell digital products and services. Thank you to Flowdesk for kindly sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to give it a go, click the link in the description to get a 30 day free trial and 50% off your first year subscription. Okay, now that I've said my two bits about diversifying our income streams. Let me take you into Flowdesk and walk you through building out a entire digital product sales page and checkout system that you can use to sell your products, no website needed. All right, so here we are in Flowdesk. There's a couple of things that we need to set up first before we can go about building out our checkouts. So if we come up to the menu here and select checkout setup, the two things that we need to do is connect our Stripe account and set our terms and conditions for our products. Now, I've already got my Stripe account connected here, but to do that, you simply just, this will say connect Stripe account. Whether you currently already have one or you need to create a new one, you can do both of those from this section here. With terms and conditions, you can come into here and there will be default terms and conditions already plugged in for you here to use if you wish. Otherwise, you can completely remove these and add your own. Once you've done that, you can hit save. And we can now jump into our checkout system. So before we jump into the actual checkout building process, we want to create some segments that we're going to use as part of our checkout. At a bare minimum, you want at least one segment that is specifically targeted towards the product that you are selling. So if I come up here to audience and then segments, you'll see that I have a bunch of different segments here. Some are relating to interest, some are relating to freebies. And then I have one up here that says product, a simple life click up template, which is a template that we're going to be building out today. To create a new segment, you just come up here and go new segment, give it a name, give it a color, and then hit save. Now that's the absolute bare minimum that we need. If you want to include an upsell in your sales page, you could also create a second segment for that particular upsell item. So now that we've created our product segment, and if you have included an upsell segment, you want to create that as well. Now we are ready to jump into checkouts. So we're going to click checkouts at the top here and select new checkout. Now, just like with the emails, Flowdesk Checkout has a bunch of beautiful templates that you can choose from to make this whole process super easy. They have one specific for digital products. They also have some for education, services, freebies, and checkout only. Now for my particular product, I'm going to select digital product and I'm going to choose this one. 
Now that we're in the checkout builder, you'll see that we have three sections across the top here. We have the sales page, we have the checkout page, and then we have the delivery page, each of which we can customize to suit our preferences. Before we dive into the actual designing process of the sales page, we're going to come up here to setup. And this is where we're really going to build out most of the information around our product. So with our product here, we want to put in a price. So I'm going to put in a price, it's definitely not going to be free. And then we can choose a image. Okay, now we've got our image and we're going to put in our title and description. All right, next we're going to come over to the upsell. Here is where you would do the exact same thing if you are adding a upsell item to your sales page. We're not going to be doing that today, so I'm going to leave this as is. Here is where you can opt for what information you want to receive from them, as well as the opt-in message here so that you can get them onto your weekly newsletter. And then this is where you would select the particular segments that you want to add people to. So an opt-in segment here, you could add them to your, let's say your nurture sequence or your welcome sequence. And then we have our product segment. So this is where you would select that product segment that we created earlier. And then if you had an upsell segment, this is where you could add that one as well. Here you can opt to add a testimonial. This would show up on the checkout page. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave that blank. And here you can create discount codes for your products. One thing I did do on the first checkout that I did is I actually created a discount code at 100% so that I could test the process. But for now, we're going to leave that blank. Now that we've done that, we can exit out of the setup and get started on building out our pages. So you'll see here that as I hover over each section, it will give me access to edit the text, edit the images via this menu on the right hand side. Now you can edit these blocks, you can also delete them, and you can also add additional blocks. For my sales page, I have a pretty clear idea of what I want to include, and I've filled it out here on this document as to what is going to be included in my sales page. This is always a really good thing to do prior to diving into any kind of design work, is have a really clear idea of what information needs to be included. So what I'm actually gonna do is remove some of these blocks and add and some additional ones. So I'm going to delete this top one and add in a new block. So to add in a new block, you would just click this add block button here and you'll see here that Flowdesk Checkout has an array of different template and designs for headers, text, image, galleries, lists, video, pricing and testimonials. There are so many different options that you can choose from. So for this first one, I'm going to select this one and edit this text by just double clicking and selecting it. And I will change template. Now, obviously that's a bit too big. So I'm going to select all of that, come over here and adjust the size slightly. And to change any of these images, now this is a, a rectangle shaped image. I actually want to change a square. So I've selected this. I'm going to come over here and change this to a square. I'm going to upload a image of my product or a mock-up of my product here. And we've added in our image. Again, to change any of this text, I'm just going to click and then select all and paste my new text. I can edit this however I like and also with the sales pricing down here i can change this font to something that stands out a bit more and then this button here i can select that and change that to buy now i'm also going to click that and then come up here to where it has button and i'm going to change that to a pill shape to match with my branding a bit better I'm also going to change the colors in the font. Now the next block that I want coming back to my document is a instructional section on how to actually download the files. So we're going to, this is not what I'm after. 
I'm going to come back into add a block, come over to text and this one here is kind of what I'm wanting with a heading and three little sections. Now you also don't need to keep these default fonts that appear in each of these templates. You can select the text here and then come over to font and change that. Flowdesk has a really great variety of fonts that you can choose from and you can also opt to upload your brand font if it's not included also. You can adjust the size, the font color, the alignment, the case and also the spacing. Now I'm going to go through and just finish each of these blocks for the sales page and I'll check back in with you in a second. Okay, so I have finished my sales page. I'll give you a little walk through of the few things that I've done. So we have our header section here with a photo. We have a buy now and marking that we have a sale on this price. Like I said, to do that, I simply selected this section here. Well, firstly, I did this section and I put a strike through that. And then I selected the sale price and I just changed the font color of that particular uh, section. Next, we have a bit of information about how to go about purchasing and what happens once you purchase the item. Then I have just a image block with a mock-up of each of the different pages within the template. And coming down here, we have a what's included in the template to give them a bit more of an overview of what, what they can expect from it. An FAQ section here with some frequently asked questions, a bit about myself as the designer creator. And then we have one final buy now section here. So straightforward, I think that took me oh gosh, maybe 10 minutes, if that, to do. And once we have that set up, we're going to come across here to the checkouts page. To edit this page, we're just going to click anywhere on the background here so that we can select what we want to appear, what we don't want to appear. So firstly, I'm going to turn off the upsell option here. And I'm going to keep the logo display. I'm going to keep the email opt-in. I'm going to remove the discount code right now because I don't have any discount codes available. I'm also going to remove the testimonials and I'm going to add the terms and conditions option for them to read here. That's about all that I'm going to do in terms of changes to the checkout page. I like to keep this very straightforward and simple, just getting to the point of having them check out. Next, we're going to go to the delivery page. Here is where we are actually going to be able to deliver the digital product template link uh, PDF that we are going to attach. So firstly, again, we're going to click on the background here and we're going to select what we want to appear and what we don't want to appear. So I'm actually going to turn this logo off. I'm going to keep the instructions area on. I'm going to keep the download section on. I'm going to turn off the upsell option because we do not have an upsell on this product. And I'm also going to turn off the bonus offer as we do not have a bonus offer on this product. So first thing I'm going to do is click on the thank you for downloading section. I'm going to change these to a branded color. I'm also going to change this image. Now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm actually going to turn off this instruction section because we already have this extra paragraph area on the download part. So I'm actually going to click off this, click back on the background and turn off that instruction area. And then I'm going to just use the download area to explain how to actually go about downloading the product. And again, I'm going to change this so it's on brand a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is put, download the template. What I'm really just going to do here is I'm going to reiterate this section here because it's the same information that we need. So we have our little instructions here and then we have the download now button. So to actually attach the PDF file, which I'll explain here. So when I am selling a template, whether it's a ClickUp template or a Canva template, I add the link for the actual template into a PDF document like this one here. And then I give people the PDF. Alternatively, you could 
send this through to a uh, an email series, but I find this just works easier. Then people can save this PDF to their computer and have it. This is the Simple Life ClickUp template PDF that I send people. It also includes the steps on how to apply this template to their ClickUp workspace. This button here will take them to the template. This is a section where they can actually sign up for ClickUp. And down here is a link to a tutorial video on YouTube. So everything they need is right here in this PDF. So if I come back over to Flowdesk and I'm clicked on this download now button, you'll see over here on the right that we have a download section. Now this is only going to allow you to paste in a link for this download. So to do this, what I've done is I've actually uploaded the PDF to my Google Drive, which you can definitely do. You do not need uh, Google Workspace. If you have Gmail, you have access to Google Drive. So then I'm going to click more actions from the PDF once it's uploaded. And I'm going to get a link here. And I'm going to change this from restricted to anyone with the link will be able to access this particular PDF. So I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to come back over to Flowdesk and I'm going to paste that link into this linked file section here. And then what will happen is people will click that and they'll be able to download that PDF. The last thing we need to do is click publish on our checkout and it's going to give us a share your publish link. So if I copy that link now and I open a new page and paste that in. That is going to take me straight to my brand new sales page and any of these buttons are going to link directly to my checkout page and then they can proceed to check out and purchase that item. The last thing I'll show you here is if we actually come out of the sales page builder area, you'll see that we actually have our sales page right here under my checkouts and down here on the bottom right, we have access to the analytics. So it's going to actually show you the analytics of how many visitors you've had to your sales page, how many orders and the total sales from that sales page. You'll see here under this checkout only section one over here that I already have. If I click the analytics, that's going to show me I've had 13 visitors, four orders for a total of $31 in sales. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create a sales page and set up a checkout system and start selling your digital products in tw less than 20 minutes. If you want to give Flowdesk a go, remember the link is in the description. You'll get a 30 day free trial and 50% off your first year's subscription. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.